Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Might and Magic Book 1, Secret of the Inner Sanctum. And in our previous episode, we had to re-begin or restart the Astral Brothers quest. Uh, but that's okay, because now we are on an uh, more of an exploratory segment now of, uh, of our gameplay. Uh, so let's get into town. Assemble the party. Oops, don't want that order. A, D, B, E. And we can, we can slow down a bit now and we can uh, enjoy our scenery a little bit more. In our previous episode, we explored, um, re-explored Sorpagol and went to a couple places we hadn't been before. Let's see how many see what we got here and so we're, we're just gonna kind of meander our way now throughout um, our our main quest line again <laughs> this way this time taking a little bit more uh, slow okay let's cast <clears throat> leather skin okay uh, and we also explored Sorpergo's basement in full so now there's a couple of things in Quadrant C2 here, outside of Sorbergal, that I just wanted to show. So first of all, if we go south one, turn right, uh, go forward, turn right, and go forward two spaces, we have a seer that um, asks us who wants to hear their sign. And then we can do any of our party member. So Jahara is who we show as is the purple Sagran. Um, and you can do that for everybody, and it, I think it's the same. Oh, green Bagar. Blue Algram. Purple Sagran. And so we will uh, need to know this information for a later side quest. But not right now. Okay, now we went north. Let's see. And I think that, uh, yeah, okay, so <clears throat> now we're on the north side of Sorpergal. Um, so here's the back side of Sorpergal. And over here on the uh, the west end, uh, or the west side of Sector C2, on the other side of this little mountain ridge, there are three little... I think this is right. Nope, we... We zoned. I wasn't expecting to zone. Server goal... Did we, oh, did we go south instead of, I think we didn't go the direction I was anticipating we went. So we're kind of lost now. <laughs> okay, let's cast, uh... okay, we are in C3, uh, we're in 1215, okay, yeah, we're in 1215. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Um, okay, and here's Sorpergo. Okay, so we didn't we didn't end up where I thought we were going to, but that's okay. So from Sorpergo, that's a good still, it's a good starting point. If we just um, go, let's see. North, we're gonna skirt around these trees. There we go. And these all seem too dense, but right here we can go through. And then it's too dense from here on out. Okay, so here's where we needed to go. Because on this side, 
Let's see, where is it? <clears throat> I thought that there were some fountains over here somewhere. I guess not. Oh, there we go. They were behind the trees. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fight. Get rid of those troglodytes. They were really the most dangerous ones because they can poison us. Okay, let's, uh, okay. Let's take them all down. All right. Okay, so. Though this, this is the middle. Um, well, I thought it was a fountain. I need to read, I need to correct that on my maps. So this is not a fountain. Um, there should be one here. And yes, cheers. So I'm correct. Yeah. Alrighty. So it raises a, a random attribute of everybody to 30. <coughs> and then if we go one, two to the north, there should be another one. Cheers. So this is just a nice. Uh, That one was the same one. And, and it can double. So Eliana, she got <laughs> intellect from the previous fountain. And it gave her intellect again. So it didn't do anything, unfortunately. 30 speed. That's pretty nice. 30 endurance and 30 intellect. 30 endurance and 30 personality. Okay. Very good. Um, And that, uh, that's just, that's just like a, um, I think that just resets daily. <clears throat> and if, and, I, and, there, and there was some way that you can like reset the fountains, reset these fountains without, um, Yeah, I don't remember. Um, uh, no, I don't want to approach him. Um, there was, it seemed like there was some way to reset the fountains so you could take advantage of them more than once in one day's time, but I don't, I don't remember it. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's about it for this sector. Mm. We already know about the Mad Wizard's lair. Um, no, I don't want to approach him. Okay, so uh, back to Sorpical's entrance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, I think that's uh, that's everything. in C2 that's really worth seeing. There's a bunch of random encounters. Um, that we don't really need to see because there, there aren't any of them that are fixed. So let's go to, um, oops, no, we don't need to go to Sorko. So if we go east a little bit and then if we go north, Let's see. There we go. North. Now we are in C1. And 
I think in C1, uh, we've actually we fully explored C1 um, because we've been to the fountains before. We've been to the carts. Uh, so yeah, there's actually nothing in here that we need to uh, really worry about exploring. So let's just cast fly because because our, our next place would have been B1. Um, so we could walk. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually did want to illustrate how to walk to Erlequin because uh, I don't think we've done that yet. Um, no, I don't want to approach them. Okay, so if we start from Erlequin or not Erlequin Sorpical, um, we come to this uh, this mountain ridge. Turn left a little bit, uh, and now we go C1. And then we basically just walk north until we come to a tree ridge uh, right here. And then we turn left until we hit the mountain. And then go north. The, hug the mountain ridge, basically. And now we're in uh, B, B1. And, and this is how you walk to Sorpical. And it's a fairly safe road. Um, there aren't any fixed encounters. If you get a random encounter, then you might get bad luck. But it's usually fine. And, and that's the one thing about like routes. Routes going from town to town generally are... Well, I don't know, not necessarily safe. But uh, they're safer than trying to like cut through the forests and stuff like that. Okay, so now we're at B1. Let's go into Bla Castle Blackridge North. Um, <clears throat> I want to make sure um, as we do our exploratory journey through the Astro Brothers quests that we haven't left any prisoners behind and that um, we've gotten all our silver messages. Okay, and I think everyone's their original alignment. Yes. Okay. So... We don't really need anything here from the from Lord Inspectron because his next quest is defeat the stronghold in the Enchanted Forest, which I don't think we're ready for that yet. Let me let, let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. Uh, where is my map of? That's Spinator. So B1, 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 B1. Ancient Wizard's Lair in the Quivering Forest. Oh, actually, it would be better if we just looked to see what monster scale. Oh, there. Well, the, the, the monster levels are doable. It gets up to tier 7, which isn't bad. However. What is, how do we defeat it? Where are my notes? Oh no, it's talking about the uh, the Minotaur, not the, not the uh, ancient wizard's lair. Never mind. Yeah, we're not ready for that yet. Okay. Um, it's the king's throne. And if we go, okay, so here's the doors. Um, we've already been there. Let's see. Yeah, we want to be on this side. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've read this message before. Monster surprised you, I'm sure they did. And I believe that, um, can't use magic here. Let's just. Yep, yeah, didn't think so. That's okay. Uh, we don't really need to uh, use magic. It's fine. These are pretty low level um, monsters. And they're running away. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Oh, let's uh, let's get rid of the. Oh man, we might take some damage here just because. Can I cast? Oh, I can cast magic here. Hooray! Get rid of those troglodytes. I guess it was just in that one square that we can't use magic, that's fine. Okay. Oh, this is the treasure room, this isn't the... Oops, I picked the wrong room, my bad. 30 gems, very nice. Okay, minor devil killer bees. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's the same as the other room. That's fine. Just smash A to win. Perfectly fine. 125 experience. Ow! Paralyzed. It's rude. We want to cast it on. Yeah, because we want those troglodytes down. We don't want to be poisoned on top of... Yeah, we can we can take these guys on. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, man. Alright, let's just lightning bolt them. Oh, crap. Um... Alexina is the only one who can. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... All right, I don't think we can rest here. Okay. <clears throat> so I believe that we have read this silver message before. However, um, we're gonna look at it again. So this looks like nonsense, right? <laughs> and. I think there are four or five more uh, that yeah, we have to put together and um, then, it, then it makes, of course, a message. Okay, let's uh, rest. And then two people are poisoned, right? Yeah, Brigitte and Ayala. So, Eliana... Okay. Okay, we're in the throne room, right? We are, but where is Lord Inspectron? At least I thought we were in the throne room. Turn undead for the win. Where's Lord Inspectron? Oh, did I go back into... I went back into the, one of the rooms. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're fine. Alrighty. So, we got the silver message. Let's go and make sure that we... Let's see, turn right here. And then go down this hallway. Right? 
Because we need to go into this door. Hooray! Man shackles. Man in shackles. Moans in agony. Okay, yeah, we didn't. We either set him free and got a party wipe or didn't do it. Okay, let's set the prisoner free. Goodbye. Okay. Alrighty, now that is all we need to do in here. There's nothing really else to see, so let us exit Castle Blackridge North. Okay, now we'll go to Castle Blackridge South and kind of do the same thing. Oh, hello. Hmm. Can I cast, uh, I can cast level 6 spells. Ooh, let's, uh, maybe let's test out Dancing Sword. Let's do it. Five points, five points, five points. Not doing much damage. Like I anticipated. Not affected. That's right, they have magical resistance. Huh, well that was highly disappointing. But I got the uh, troglodytes down. That's what matters most. Did I, oh, I didn't cast Bless, that's why we're missing a few times. Alright, 131 gold and a bag of silver that we can sell for 500 gold. Okay. Okay, Castle Blackridge South. <coughs> Okay, so, uh, now in each of these rooms there are encounters, which we don't need to do those, they're just random. And looking at the map... Do we need to go into the center area? Uh, no, we need to uh, um, take the outskirts here. Okay, so we're gonna skirt around the peripheral of the castle. I don't think there's anything in these little... Yeah, there's nothing in there. I didn't mark anything on the map, but I have made enough mistakes on my mapping that... Okay, in... Second door. Alright, here's our second message. I should see, uh, technically the third. So, another nonsense message. IACI1 dash 2 0 NU dash dash G N0 T2. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, so. I think we need to go to the inner to the inner part of the castle, right? To free the prisoner. So now we'll go back the way we came from. Okay, it's the inner courtyard. All right, so now we need to turn south. Go all the way to the end. Now this prisoner we might have already freed. A mysterious cloaked figure, bound and gagged, lies motionless in the corner. Set him free. Prisoner flees. Okay, so we freed the prisoner there, and we've... Uh, got the silver message so now we do have a decision to make 
since we have the spell Etherealize, Yep, return not until that quest is complete. I know. However, wait, I have to. Oh, I can't. Can I not go in there? Okay, so the throne room is a two by six room. The leader. Oh, that's right. He has the dragon tooth quest. Um. Okay. Well, we were gonna try to take a shortcut, but I guess we're not going to. Alrighty, now these two doors, they just lead to rooms that are full of encounter uh, encounters, so we don't need to worry about that. However, if we go back to the doors that lead to the, uh, the outer area, and then turn right... There's a secret passage here which leads us to the ancient wizard's lair. Now I do need to check out the map just to make sure that it's something that we can do. But this will be this will be a new um, dungeon that we haven't done before. <clears throat> and even if it's worth going. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, oh, outdoor only. Okay. Ouch. Take these guys out quickly. All right. Now this is um magical darkness, I believe. Let's oops. Let's see if we can just cast light. Oh no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I need um lasting light. Okay. Now if we go all the way to the end of this hallway. A slide, and we are in sector B1 now. Uh, so we're in the same sector, but we are in 12-2, <clears throat> and we're facing east. So we need to turn left, yes, and then go north one. Turn left, go west one, turn right, and then if we hit go north, we should hit an encounter. Yes. Oh wow, well, they really turned tail and ran, didn't they? Rude. All right. Is her might really 27? That's pretty dang good. Okay, so are we still facing north? We are. Okay, so we're still facing north. But we need to turn right one. Go east. Turn left. Go north one. Turn right. And enter the wizard's lair. Okay. 
So now we're going to explore down here just a little bit. Hopefully we don't die. Traps. Okay, there's a lot of long hallways here, and cockatrice. Hmm. I don't know what a cockatrice is, or does, I should say. I know what it is in the real world, but for the purposes of... Well, it went down real fast, whatever it was. Okay, it seems to be an easy battle. Five hundred sixty-six experience, not bad. Okay, now we're in. Where are we? We want to go. Do we want to go north? No, we want to go south. And then turn right. I think we need to cast Levitate. Can you cast Levitate? Is it a level th 3 spell? Who casts Levitate? What little spell is it? I've already forgotten. Isn't it like 2-5 for the sorcerer? Yeah. I just wasn't seeing it. Okay. Whoa. Well, this is fun. Um, stairs going down. Take them, yes. Well, Levitate didn't do anything. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, I didn't mark them as traps, so... <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. Ah, uh, the... <clears throat> okay. So now we're in the basement. Let's let's check our surrounding. Where 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 are we for sure? Okay, we're at 15. Okay. Cuz there there are two sets of stairs. Um there are two sets of stairs. Okay. All right. What? The Labyrinth of Lazarus. Lazarus. Few have entered, none have returned. Well, that's encouraging. Okay. Do we still have Levitate activated? Yes, we do. But is it going to help? Because I do have this trap, this tile in front of us that's marked as a trap. Um, I didn't. Say what they were, just trap. Te oh, teletrap, teleport, teleport, teleport. Mm. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to protect from it. Right. So let's check the map out here. If there's a way we can avoid. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back. Do I need to take that door right there to our left? That will take us down. 
I can just jump over traps. So, or do we need to take this hallway? If we take this hallway down, we can jump over that one. Okay, so... Let's cast, is it two, one, four? Uh, what is it? Or was it two, four? Two, four, yep. Okay, so we're going to cast jump. Nope. Jump. So we jumped over one trap. Oh, inset in the wall, a stone face speaks. I see all, hear all, know nothing. That's spooky. What's in here? Oh, hello. Luxina, yeah, let's... So that's a one-way door. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I didn't mark that right. Of course, it's locked. Okay, so now we're back here. <laughs> Jump over this again. I see all here, all know nothing. I don't know what that means. Okay, I think there's nothing up here. Yeah. But if we go... Okay, so we're here. We need to go forward. One, two, three. And then jump again. Now we're at the corner. Oh, hippogriffs, pegasus, wolverines, and barbarians. Okay. Some serious business peoples here now. Uh, let's shoot the Pegasus, I guess. Just because I don't want him to get away. Uh, let's cast Fireball. No, let's cast Invisibility. I don't anticipate we'll have a problem with this fight. I'm not afraid of the Barbarians anymore, but they can still put a bru bruising on me. Yeah. They might be able to get a good hit in, a good whack in. Anybody need a heal? Um, nah. Attack, shoot. Sometimes I think to myself, I need some background music while I'm in these new unexplored dungeons to take the edge off a little bit. Okay, so at the intersection, we jump again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then we have another intersection, which we do not take. Move forward one. We jump again. And then from this intersection... Let's see, we don't take this, right? Yeah, there is nothing here. Okay. Nothing in... The, 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 if we take... This, this leads us on a very um, windy part of the, the maze in here. And there's like nothing. There's like yeah. There's like nothing in here. Uh, there's a few random. There's a few fixed random encounters, 
but um, that last the last encounter that we hit was uh, completely random. Okay, so where are we going? We need to go one, two, three, four, and then jump again. Don't take the door. Don't take the first door, but we do want to take this door, right? But it's a one-way door. So, let's go, uh, let's go get the other message first. What? Instant in the wall, a stone face proclaims. Okram is waiting, is watching. He studies your weaknesses. Okram. Now, I know he's a boss or a special a special mob, but I don't remember what he does. Okay. So now, uh, yeah. So now we're in a different part of the dungeon. Dino beetles. Oh. Dino beetles. Dino beetles. We haven't fought them yet. I believe these guys have a crapo ton of, ex of uh, health. Monster groups. Where are my tears? They are... Level 8. They've got 200 health and they do 50 damage. I can't fight these guys. Especially since um, Ayala and Brigida don't have full health since they were recovering from poison. Nowhere to run. That's not good. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fight these guys. Okay, so we know that, let me mark that on my map. Okay, so we know that we can't get to where we need to go. Let me make a marking of that. I'm pretty sure that's a set fight because according to my chart here, tier seven is the highest um, level that this dungeon is supposed to have. And they were tier eight. Oh, and I need to mark those traps, the spin traps. Those are, that was annoying. Um, okay, so I guess we'll have to come back here. Our whole aim of coming here is to get the two gold messages that are in here. And without being able to beat those dino beetles... We're going to have to come back later. So, uh, yes, we will go up. Okay, anything else that we can do here? Um, so now, let's just uh, go to Erlequin. And, oh, how do, we, how do we get out of here? Because I don't think we can cast... Can we cast magic? If I can just fly to the same quadrant. Oh, okay, we're fine then. Um. Okay, now we are in Erlequin. Okay, let's go ahead and... <clears throat> excuse me. We'll come into the inn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Go behind the inn. The wizard Agar speaks, you have done well to bring me this scroll. Now take it to my protege Telgoran in dusk. Okay. We will. Now let's um let's sell the gear that we don't need anymore. Let's see, uh, sell the battle axe. Sell the large shield. 
Smell the sell the small shield, bag of silver, the large shield plus one. Keep the fire shield. Keep the, the ten foot bullet, funny. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, go ahead and save our game, and we'll go ahead and call that the episode. So, we've freed the two prisoners in the two castles. We've gotten the two silver messages in the two castles, Blackridge. We explored the ancient wizard's lair, and we found out that we didn't, um, we couldn't get as far as we thought. I, I was, I was sure that I would be able to um, get to both gold messages, but if you can't get to one, you might as well not go back and get the other one um because they're that close together so anyway it makes sense in my head uh <laughs> so in our next episode what we will do is we will re-explore Erlequin. we'll go down into the vault of Erlequin and uh, check out what's down there and we'll try and see there there are some there are some mobs some enemies in this city that <clears throat> that you can trigger when you try to steal treasure. There are the, uh, the gol some golems. I think iron, iron golems? No, diamond golems. And I think that um, they're just they're just kind of like beefy boys. They're, they're tough. Um, and I don't think they have any magic though. So we'll try our hand at them because they give really good experience. Um if we find out that they give really a good experience and they're not uh, too difficult to take down, then we may have found our next grinding uh, spot. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, sign in and exit. Alrighty, so until our next episode of Might and Magic 1, so long for now.